So now in this video, we have an A-stable 555 timer. Now this uh, diagram was on the sheet that I've already been uh, covering recent uh, circuits in. So just decided uh, to use it again. But here you can see, we can adjust the uh, speed of the A-stable 555 timer right there. Because I got a uh, trim pot. It's wired as a variable resistor though, not as a voltage divider. So we got a resistive element. One end of the resistive element is just floating in the air. It's not connected to anything. We got the wiper that slides up and down the resistive element and then uh, one of the fixed points of the resistive element to the uh, positive supply. That's up on top right there. So um, what we do is that uh, when you got an A stable mode 555 timer, you apply power, the capacitor charges until it gets to two-thirds supply voltage. Pin 6 senses that and it sets the output low and discharges the capacitor. It's only gonna discharge through the variable resistor though. So if we uh, put this down to zero ohms of resistance, basically going all the way up to this point there, it's uh, discharging practically instantly. And just be aware of that. It's got a charge to that 1000 ohm uh, resistor, no matter what, um, but it can pretty much instantly discharge almost instantly. So using 47 microfarad capacitor there, 100 microfarad capacitor, whatever uh, the speed you see here, it's going to take about twice as long. So you can adjust the speed uh, quite a bit by swapping out uh, capacitors as well. Larger value to go slower and a, a smaller value to uh, go quicker at any given setting right there. Be aware of that. So yeah, we have a thousand ohm of uh, resistance there we could go lower but uh, I think um, I think I liked the speed uh, right there for the slowest so that's probably why I used a thousand right there you know there's all kinds of stuff you can adjust you could use a 100,000 ohm trim pot or you know potentiometer in that spot if you want so in any case charges to uh, two-thirds supply voltage pin six senses that starts discharging and the output goes low gets down to one-third supply voltage pin 2 senses that it stops discharging so current can flow into the capacitor again and it sets the output high so while the capacitor is highing or uh, while the capacitor is charging as voltage is going up the output is high considered a higher uh, voltage easy way to remember that when the capacitor is discharging going down to ground the output is also connected to ground which it does better um, connects to ground better than it connects to the positive supply. Be aware that you lose uh, at least a volt from the uh, positive supply, but it makes a really good connection to ground. You lose a little bit of voltage, but uh, not much in the grand scheme of things. So blue LEDs are brighter than red LEDs at the same current, so we got a lower value uh, resistance for that. Plus, it connects to ground better than the positive supply right there. So we're going to need uh, quite a bit lower uh, resistance there. Uh, you know higher current to get the red LED as bright as the blue LED pin 4 is the reset pin It is waiting for basically a connection to ground don't have to be a perfect connection to ground But uh, I think uh, 0.5 volts or less ground is zero volts there And um, so we don't want it to do anything We put it directly to the positive supply and that prevents it from resetting the 555 timer if it resets It gets a low voltage to pin 4 the outputs gonna be low no matter what you do. Um, the rest of the uh, circuitry will not set the output high. Reset pin is the most powerful input right there. I'm using an NE555. If you use an NE or a micro A555, your circuit should work uh, pretty much like this if you wire it the same way. If you have a different type of 555 timer, um, you know, it may not be able to provide as much current. It might have some other issues. So I always consult the data sheet for the particulars of the 555 you are using. So we can look at the physical component. You have to power it, pin 8, positive supply, pin 1, negative supply. We got pin 2 and pin 6 tied together with that jumper. So for the timing resistor over here, we got uh, to the discharge pin, pin 7, which uh, sometimes it's connected to ground, sometimes it's not doing anything. So while the output is high, Current's going through that uh, resistor, through this uh, jumper, because it's like an off switch when the output is high, and then through however much of the resistive element I have set. 
and then to charge the capacitor. Then when the output goes low, that connects to ground. Any current through that resistor just goes to ground. Uh, but the uh, capacitor discharges through whatever resistance we set right there. And then it goes uh, pretty much directly to ground there. So we got that. Then uh, so I already mentioned pin 4. We got it high so that it doesn't do anything. And then we got the output pin 3, third one down there. Coming down to where the two LEDs uh, meet, make sure you put them in the right way. So red LED, I just uh, you could use any color, but I like to use red when the output is high. So long lead the anode to the output, short lead the cathode. It's coming to the negative supply through a resistor. When it comes to the blue LED, we have, uh, I want it to light up when the output's low, connected to ground. So the opposite is a positive supply. Again, that higher value resistor to the long lead, the anode, short lead the cathode is down to where the jumper brings it to the output. So it, it lights up when the output is low. Um, basic uh, stuff. So yeah, it's that easy to make it uh, adjustable. And I think this is a little easier to see than if I put the uh, resistor, um, the trim pot, I should say, variable. It's wired as a variable resistor because one end is floating. Uh, I think it's easier to see what's going on versus if I put it up there or put it uh, down there. Um, I could also like, you know, shift this to the right, set it off to the side or something. But I think this might be the easiest. So this is kind of how I plan to uh, show this. But again, not a topic the 555 I've been covering recently, but it is on the sheet for whatever reason. And um, so I'm um, going to cover it now just for this uh, circuit. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.